Hello there. Now, before I start the video, I'm going to address that this video is a joke and is not meant to be taken seriously. Okay, back to the video. So I'm going to tell you why Saho is brilliant. We see a bunch of cool gangsters in this very realistic looking city called Waji. They burn this dude's hand to get him to sign some deal and the gangster's boss, Jackie Shroff, to be honest, I already forgot his name by now, is killed. Cut to a chawl where a dude's about to get hanged and comes to the rescue is our Bahubali. What? It's our Bahubali? Oh, whatever, I'll call him that. Bahubali has a slow mo walk because this is an Indian masala entertainer. Duh. He then beats everybody in the chawl and guess what? There are snakes and panthers in the chawl. Totally normal things to have in your house. He then saves the dude and turns out he's a police officer named Ash I mean Bahubali. He saves the dude because he needs some information from him. What is the information you ask? I forgot. Because this movie is too damn long. And that's so cool. So then we see damsel in distress Kapoor, who is also part of the police and is unable to solve a case because Bollywood gender bias. And then Bahubali enters the scene and immediately solves the case using his secret superpower of looking into the past. And by the laws of Bollywood, he falls in love with her. And by the second law of Bollywood, she also falls in love with him. But a robbery had taken place and their main suspect were three people, Neen, Nitin and Mukesh. But as they were about to catch him, he gets away. Then we see Bahubali's friend Murli Sharma, whose character's name I also forgot, was working with Neil, Nitin and Mukesh. But double twist, he was still actually working with Bahubali. But double double twist, Bahubali is actually Bhallal Deva. Wait, what? I mean, Bahubali is the thief and the main bad guy. Bahubali then immediately kills the main antagonist of this movie. Physics. But then double 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 twist, Bahubali is actually the good guy. What? What the f Perfectly not confusing. But damsel in distress Kapoor is now upset because she had proposed to Bahubali. But then he leaves a message for her which is a very smart thing to do as he knows she's mad and wants to kill him. So that's exactly what happens but she chooses not to go because the main main bad guy, Punky Pandey. <laughs> Sorry. My bad, Chunky Pandey. Wait, you know what? Punky sounds better. I'll go with that. Punky Pandey wants to get hold of some black box which has a key to a vault supposedly containing money and wants to kill Bahubali because... I forgot. So Punky Pandey's men start shooting the whole place down and guess what? By the third law of Bollywood, they survive this. And so... Stuff happens. So plot twist yet again that Punky Pandey had killed Jackie Shroff, which I totally did not see coming. Yeah, no, I, 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 I did not see that coming. Yeah. No. But then quadruple Brazilian plot twist, Bahubali was Tiger Shroff's brother. What? What the f I mean, I mean, Bahubali was Jack, actually Jackie's son, which I totally did not see coming. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm serious. I actually did not see that coming. See, I told you, I did not see that. So Bahubali takes down all of Punky's men alone because he's the hero and he's in an Indian movie, duh. And then he kills Pandey. He then becomes the main gangster because hereditary and then sees Shraddha once again. And then... What? 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 Got him. What the hell is going? What? What? What is going on? I don't understand anything. 
Now that was a brilliant piece of cinema. Thank you so much for watching.